Hi all and welcome to this video financial modeling blog tutorial. Today we're going to look at why you don't need to be a macro master to build a financial model. Okay, we highly recommend that you read the blog tutorial before going on. Okay, the first question asks, set up a macro to ensure the debt amount check solves to zero. And with this macro, we're going to do a copy and paste macro and we're going to manually record the macro and then we're going to go in there and manipulate it. So the first thing we do, we need to go to view, which it's already on. We need to go to macro and we need to go to record macro. Now we're going to call this debt solve macro. We're going to go OK. So you can see that it's recording because we've got a stop button down the bottom left hand corner. OK, now we're going to go and we're going to go copy the calculated amount and we're going to go and paste. So we're going to go to home. If you've got our shortcuts or if you've done our shortcuts tutorial, you can simply go control shift V. If you haven't, go to paste and then there's the paste values here. Okay, and now we're going to stop recording. Stop recording. And just before we go and manipulate the macro, what we're doing here is we've got a circularity with respect to the arrangement fee. Okay, the arrangement fee goes in the um, construction funding requirement here. So just here. But it's also, it, it, it's calculated off the debt amount. So this is going to be circular in nature because as the arrangement fee increases, so does the debt amount etc etc. Now it's going to converge at a point in time where our debt check is equal to zero. So now we're breaking the circularity by putting in a debt hard coded figure here. So let's go to our macro now. So let's go to view macros, view macros, we're going to go to debt solve, we're going to go to edit okay and now what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to put some names in here so d11 is the debt calc so we can simply type in get debt calc so debt calc here and we're going to put in debt debt hard okay and up the top here we're going to go and do a loop so we're going to go do while and we're going to go oops range so we're going to copy and paste that. Debt check does not equal zero. Right, okay. And we're going to save that. And that should work. Now we'll check that later. Like I said, you don't need to be a macro master to do these things. Often um, at Video Financial Modeling, we'll get a pre-existing model and we'll copy and paste the um, necessary macro um, and then manipulate it. And there's only a few macros that can really come up in a financial model. That, and we're going to talk a bit more about that in um, uh, part two. So let's... So we've saved that. Let's go and let's go to macros, view macros, and let's go and see if this works. And we're going to go run. And it does work, but it needs a break. 
Okay, so let's just go back into the macro. So we're going to go view, debt solve, we're going to edit. Okay, and why might it be loop, looping or continuing to looping? It'll be this select here, okay? So we don't need to select that there. Um, and that should be fine, I think. So let's go back and try it again. Okay, we're going to go macros, view macros, that solve, and we're going to run. Okay, so let's try it using a different number. So let's do that again. So view macros, that solve, and then run. Okay, and that solves. Now, okay, so another thing you can do is you can insert a button. So we're going to choose this. You can make it 3D like the button up in the top left-hand corner. But we're just going to do a debt solve button. We might center that a bit. So home and then center. And put it there and bold it. And there's your debt solve. And we're going to go right-click and assign macro and debt solve and OK. OK, so now we can go 12,500 or whatever number we start off with. We can change these inputs down here as well. And we can go debt solve and it will solve. OK, that's it for this video blog tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe to our YouTube feed or go and sign up to our newsletter on www.videofinancialmodeling.com. Thanks.